Well, we're in the marina at uh, Tin Can Bay. Great little spot. It's not too expensive, and um, they've got a courtesy car where you can drive up to uh, the IGA or Woolies and do your shopping. Uh, they've got marine electrics here. They've got a chandlery. They've got uh, boat detailing place. So. Uh, there's a few things that uh, could entice you in here. It's a little way up the creek to get up to Tin Can, but um, we've come up to see some old friends up here. Um, and we'll be here another day and then head up the Sandy Strait. Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Flashing out warm. Beautiful. Well, this will be our last sunset uh, in Tin Can for this season. We've caught up with some good friends here. I uh, haven't seen them for a while, so we've caught up with them, did coffee with them this morning. Uh, we've given the boat a big spring clean. We've uh, clipped Ted. You're a good boy, Teddy. Getting a haircut, mate. Might have to line up myself. <laughs> uh, I've put a new uh, alarm on the Raymarine gear. So we've been very industrious while we've been here, but um, yeah, this is our last night, and we're going to head down the sand. Uh, we're going to head up the Sandy Strait um, uh, tomorrow and find somewhere new to hang out. So uh, yeah, it's been good. Great marina here, um, friendly staff, and uh, everything you need for a boatie. But it'll be good to get out and uh, head a bit further up the Strait. Just putting a bit of water on. Last thing, uh, well, second last thing, we'll go and get a bit of fuel over here. It's uh, not too expensive. I don't have to put much on, but I'll fill up while we're here. I've got access to it.
we're still pushing a little bit of tide, not much. But we're just going to go down to Pelican Bay, we'll camp there for the night, and then in the morning... Can we swim at Pelican Bay? Yeah. Not too bad. Um, and in the morning, we'll head up to Gary's Anchorage, or up there, maybe maybe even through the shallow patch at Sheridan Flat. The Sandy Strait. Heading up the Sandy Strait, yeah, the, great, the Great Sandy Strait. The Great Sandy Strait. It's been great, it's in camp. It's clean, full of fuel, full of water. Full of dog hair. Full of dog hair. Yeah. <laughs> Teddy's been clipped. ashore in uh, Pelican Bay but the winds up from the north and around to the west a bit and the forecast says for it to go around a bit further to the west and to get up a little bit overnight so a little bit uncomfortable there we're going to slip across the T-Bar Creek and uh, probably be a bit more comfortable for tonight and then we'll come out of there and head up the strait in the morning. So we've just come across uh, to T-Bar Creek. Um, this is a pretty secluded little spot. Get you out of northerlies, anything from the north through to the south. Probably easterly the only thing that'd get in here. Um, but yeah, we've come over here thinking that we're going to get a better night's sleep um, in T-Bar. There's a little beach up around the corner here, I think, where we can take Ted, Ted ashore. Uh, quite shallow coming in though, we're about halfway through the tide and we were down to about 1.4 I think at one stage, so uh, you want to watch your navigation coming in any lower than that. I think this is a good move, I think uh, it's a lot nicer in here, there's not much wave action at all once we get in and there's a little beach up around the corner where we can get, Pip uh, get Ted ashore. <laughs> Hi Norm, what you doing? Well, 
with this new remote uh, alarm on the um, Axiom, it's very, very loud. <laughs> I could say that again. Probably a bit too loud. So what I'm going to do, I've had it mounted uh, just here beside the helm. What I'm going to do is uh, mount it up in the overhead. So I'm going to put it up uh, in that locker. I think probably what I'll do is mount it up here. It'll mount there all right. And um, all I have to do is run the cable up that pipe. I've got plenty of cable there. So I can run the cable up uh, this tube up into the overhead and that will still be pretty loud, but at least it won't be straight in your ear. So Because you can actually shut it in there. Sorry? Shut that timber. Yeah, piece. we'll shut we'll shut it up. It so it'll be it a bit a of bit. a bit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it'll be a bit better, I think. Because yep. pretty loud, wasn't it? <laughs> it's just horrible. <laughs> Absolutely. My darling, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm frothy coffee. Well, all our jobs are done this morning. I've um, rerouted the uh, alarm. I think it's a little bit quieter. <laughs> it does need to be loud because it is an alarm, but uh, yeah, a bit in your face before. So we gave it a bit of a test coming out of uh, what was it called Cowrie Creek. It was quite shallow getting out of there. And now we're heading up towards Gary's Anchorage. We can stop there tonight or we can keep on going with the tide. So how long is that trip? That'll be about two hours. And then we probably have another couple at least if we wanted to go further through Sheridan Flat at high tide. Yep. Uh, and then up to probably Kingfisher or something like that. Yep. But anyway, before we make any decisions, the first thing is Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> what a spectacular day it is now. Very foggy start this morning, but um, we're just about up to Sheridan Flat. This is the area in uh, the Sandy Strait where the tides meet. So the tide comes in from Inskip Point. We've been riding that tide up to here. And then uh, when we get to Sheridan Flat, it also flows in from Harvey Bay and they meet at Sheridan Flat. So the tide's coming in from Inskip Point and in from Harvey Bay. And when they meet in the middle, when we reach high tide, they fall again from Sheridan Flat. So. We're going to get here a little bit early and the plan is we're going to drop anchor and have a bit of lunch and then once we've done that it'll allow a bit of time for the tide to reach capacity and then it'll start flowing back out into Harvey Bay and we'll ride that out. We've been averaging about six and a half knots the whole trip so it's pretty good in still water without the sail and um, uh, if we just have a bit of lunch up here and wait for it we'll do six and a half knots all the way out into Harvey Bay. Fantastic. And it's a lovely trip, something to see all the time where the weather's like this, it's just brilliant. So, um, very sheltered, uh, no swells. Quite a bit of shallow water around though, you just want to watch your navigation, that's all.
South White Cliffs. It's going to be a very nice afternoon, a lovely night, and Wombi has decided to torment the fish. Waverley, always beautiful. What's cooking, Mom? Excellent pancakes. Mom. Pancakes. Woo! -hoo. That's right, that awful thing. Mackenzie's jetty was a substantial structure built in the 1800s. It was used to bring supplies to the sawmill and to export logs from Fraser Island. There's an interpretive board just behind the beach. Where are we going, Womb? Oh, 
because we can even move them. Got a lucky dog, Teddy. You've got a jacket on. You can come into the park. Just got to be careful of the dingoes. Keep your jacket on. We spend a night at Woody Island, then head to the marina at Narangan, where I hire a sports car, drive to the airport, pick up my daughter from Melbourne, and then have another spooky night in Bundaboo. See you next week, dudes. <laughs>